Okay, here's a uh, quite a nice item. Condition's not brilliant. It's only an AFA 70. It's a Chewbacca on a 12 back A card, and as it's sort of got a low grade, there's reasons for that. Okay, so Chewbacca on the first release card. Classic figure. If you look on his arm on the uh, left hand side, this one here and the leg, you can see it's sort of got a bit of mustiness to it, sort of a, a mould almost. Nothing too major but still just that left leg and arm. This side's perfectly clear. And he's holding his weapon, the Wookie Boker stuff. And it looks quite dark, sort of blackish. So there's a variant with a green version on the early releases, and this is the first release card, so this could have come with that, but it doesn't. If you can read what it says there, 12, 1978 Kenner Star Wars, uh, 12 back A, 2 back A, and the card gets 70, the bubble gets 85, and the figure gets 80. And there's a picture of Chewbacca, classic image, only change on Return of the Jedi second release cards plus the, the Power of the Force release. Maybe the Tri logo uses the other picture as well. But this is the picture that you find on all Empire Strikes Back, all Star Wars and early Jedi cards. And it's the classic image. The soul, this obviously got a massive price sticker here, it says BEST, which I guess is an American store, uh, buyer's code, it had the, it cost a dollar ninety five back in those days, a long long time ago, and there's a major flaw, if you see on the, where the, the price, white price area is, you can see it's quite badly uh, bent there, there's quite a pronounced mark there, and then, you know, bit of mould on the figure, nothing too heavy but still, you know, it sucks a bit. I'd say that's why the figure gets an 80 and the card gets a 70 because of that crack there, plus the large sticker, that would get it marked down as well. Ok, the back of the card is quite nice, you can see few flaws, a couple of creases around the punch hole, uh, slight crease there, crease on there, and it says about the 12 figures, the original 12, pictures of the original 12. What makes this a 12 back A is because of that uh, image of the lightsaber, it's the telescoping saber, because they changed that on 12 back Bs and Cs. If you want to find out more, go check on Kellerman's book, which should be a new version should be coming out of that soon. At the bottom you've got the 12 display for the figures. Closing date for the offer was the 1st of May 1979. Yep. And there's the proof of purchase. So, you know, I mean, a, a good grade 12 back Chewbacca goes for quite a lot, so this is like the cheaper way of getting one even then it wasn't that cheap but still a nice item Chewbacca classic classic and you know which figure this would go look nice standing next to I'll go get that in a minute and take some pictures of that this is Chewbacca. The figure remains the same throughout the line. There's no real variations except for maybe the, on the Empire Strikes Back card, some of the limbs turn green. And so that's called the green limb Chewbacca. Uh, other so cool Chewbacca's I've got are the Canadian one I've got, which is 77 back, but that's a really nice high, high grade and just looks sweet and on that card it's quite hard to find. Also, a 
believe I've got a Return of the Jedi Meccano card, uh, Chewbacca, and that is a very rare, rare card. So that's far rarer than this 12 back. And then I've got a Palatoy Return of the Jedi Chewbacca, Power of the Force Chewbacca. Um, what else? Uh, Kenna, second picture Chewbacca. Any others? I'm trying to think. A lot of these I bought back in the early 90s, so I can't really remember. That's like with the uh, Makano Chewbacca, I'm not sure. I think I have got that. I definitely have that. One more look at the Chewbacca. Really nice figure. Despite the bit of mould there. I've got mould on my Han Solo German figure, Empire Strikes Back as well. Nothing you can do about it. Well, they say you can remove it with ultraviolet light. But I don't have an ultraviolet light, so I can't try that. Long play, and the LP will be removed by the 20, 20 back B card. Nice image of Chewbacca there. This is a classic, classic thing from a long, long time ago. Chewbacca on a 12 back card. Very nice. Okay, this is pretty obvious to put these two figures together, but we've got Chewbacca on the 12 back A, graded 70, and we've got Han Solo Small Head, which is on a 12 back C, graded 80, and so you've got the two classic characters, uh, Han Solo, uh, the original small head version, and you've got then, you've got Chewbacca, early version with the uh, Bowcaster, both from 1978, so a lot of you probably weren't alive when this was <laughs> these two came out, I was, I was eight, and you know, that Han Solo was the first action figure I bought. I never had that Chewbacca. The one I've got loose was my sister's one, so she had that Chewbacca. And I ended up with it. It's one of the few figures that she had that survived, because I, I just smashed, I smashed them all up, her ones. So, you know. <laughs> Obviously she had the vinyl cake Jawa, which I flashed down, flushed down the toilet. You know. How dare she have the Star Wars figures. Um... So that was a silly thing to do to flash flush down a jar of cake jar, a vinyl cake jar down the toilet, but you know I didn't want her to have any Star Wars action figures. <laughs> Shows you what a, a head case I was in those days. <laughs> Maybe a head case now. Look what I do, I just collect Star Wars figures talk to uh, hopefully someone that's watching this. Well, I mean, I'd happily do this anyhow and just talk to myself. <laughs> You've got Chewbacca there, 12 back, and Han Solo, 12 back. Classic images from, you know, the best film out of the bunch. Best film ever. Yeah, you can say Avatar, you can say uh, The Hunger Games is pretty good, but, you know, this is the best film ever, man. And, you know... I mean, it's just like Harrison Ford, you're not going to get an actor like that these days, are you? With such sort of laid back, you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying, man? <laughs> and then Chewbacca, how tall was he? Seven foot something? The actor who played him? I've got his signature. You know, I mean, he's a giant guy. And then, you know, like when I put the Han Solo small head and the Luke brown hair on the Empire Strikes Back card together, and I'm just uh, enjoying this. <laughs> I don't care if you don't want to watch this, I do. So, you know, 
I'm just going to really enjoy watching this Han Solo 12 back, which I had to get from America because it's so darn hard to find. And then, wouldn't you know it, there was a someone in the UK had one for sale. That's always the way, isn't it? And then you've got the Chewbacca here on a 12 back A card. Still looks nice. 70. That's still 70%. That would get you a high grade in an exam. 70%. So, you know. Chewbacca and Han Solo look sweet together. Wicked. Chewbacca, Han Solo, nice items. If you wanted to get the vintage now, cheapest option for a Chewbacca would be on a pa uh, Kenner, Return of the Jedi card. Uh, you're talking about maybe £60. The Palatoy would be cheap as well, it's the same price. Uh, graded, you're talking about on a Jedi card, what, 100 quid maybe, maybe a bit more, depending on condition. Should be too hard to find. Uh, just been re-released by um, Gentle Giant as a jumbo figure. I prefer these small figures. These are the real deal. And then, okay, one more look at the Han and Chewbacca on 12 back cards. Okay, <laughs> got some more stuff to show you. Okay, so Han and Chewbacca, cool stuff. Okay, this is the from 1995 thereabouts, and I had this before, but I opened my one up, and this is the top Star Wars four contain candy containers plus ten collectors cards. So you get four con candy container heads, and you got Yoda, you got Chewbacca, you got C3PO, and you got Darth Vader. And as you can see the Darth Vader, the lids come off at the bottom and the sweets have fallen out. So these sweets are how many years old? 95, it's 2012 now. So they, you can see they've turned brown. <laughs> but they're not in too bad condition. And you've got Darth Vader, c 3 as I said, Chewie and Yoda. And I've got all these four. But I've, I opened them up, my setup. I've, you get ten collector's cards here. That's the thing that makes this pack worth getting is the cards and they're by tops. Uh, I've got a loose set of these, well I the set I took from my pack. I might open this because it's so big, you know, it's hard to store. And it's only the only value is those training cards really. I mean you can use those heads for display, get rid of the sweets. And but it's a nice thing to look at from ninety five. So it's getting on a bit. How many years now? Almost well, a good 17 years old now. Maybe a bit old, a bit more recent than that though. There's a top logo at the top. Star Wars sort of mid 90s type art graphic design. Darth Vader there. Nice image of him. And the back of the card is really nice to see as well. We've got the same logo again. Three movie logos there. Four photographs from the film. And then all the sort of product information. And it's 95. It's the uh, trademark year. So this is when the Star Wars started to take off again big time with the sort of Power of the Force figures and then this as well.
So there you go. Star Wars top candy container head. Four pack. I doubt if you'd be able to I mean I'm sure some people kept these carded. But it's the trading cards that are worth picking up because they're as it says there they're unique to this set. Okay.